Welcome back everyone and in this video we're going to be adding in a large stud based floor for the entire house and then we're also going to be adding different floor types for the different rooms of this project. So what I'd like you to do is make sure you're on the level one floor plan and if you're not just double click on that and we are going to go ahead and add in the floor. So over here we have our floor option. I want you to click on that and by default you're going to have a bunch of these tools what i usually do for the floor type is i will use the rectangle unless you have a very unique house and then you might need to draw it out manually so i'm going to select that rectangle and by default it's a generic 12 inch and we're going to edit that but for now i just want you to go from like the inside wall so like from right here over to right there and i've clicked it and it's kind of drawn in that rectangle into place now if I clicked OK, it would just create a generic uh, gray mesh floor. But let's go ahead and set that to like a stud base floor, possibly with some insulation. So go to Edit Type. And you've kind of done this before with the walls. I want you to go to the Duplicate, because we have to create a copy of this material before we edit it. And let's just call this Floor Joist System. But you could call it whatever you want. And I'm going to press OK. Then I'm going to go to the structure, edit the structure, and I'm going to shorten this down. So we're using 2x6s for this. So I'm going to change it from a 1 foot segment over to a 6 inch segment. And it just gave me an error because I didn't put a 0 there. OK. And then I'm going to go to by category, dot, dot, dot. I'm going to click on that. And I'm going to look for, let's go ahead and type the word joist in, see what we get. Okay. And we have a few options here. This is probably the best one. So it's got a wood joist system with a bat insulation. So this is fiberglass insulation, uh, which is usually put underneath the floor in order to have some insulation between different rooms, or in our case, between the crawl space and the main house. So I'm going to click once on that, and I'm going to adjust the appearance. So let's go ahead and give this a more uh, wood-based color. So I'm just going to, I don't know, use one of these over here. Or maybe I can mess around and come up with something a little cleaner. Um, and I could do the same over here. OK. So I'll press OK. I got that new color in. Everything's looking pretty good. So I'm going to press apply, OK, and now we got that layer in there. We also want to put in a subfloor. So I want you to insert a new layer. This layer is going to go above the wood joist layer. So go to by category, click dot, 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 and type in, let's go ahead and type in sheath for sheathing. Let's see if we get anything. Perfect. We have some plywood sheathing here. That's just going to be our subfloor. So I'm going to select that, press OK. And we'll just put an inch of this in there. So in reality, it's only about seven inches, but that's fine. Click away. Looks great. Press OK. Press OK. And then press Finish. And if I click away, and if you did it correctly, you should have a floor now for your entire structure. If I go to that 3D View button, which I just noticed I can't seem to put it on my screen, but if you go to the View button here, you can also click on 3D View you'll notice that we have a joist system as well as a subfloor for the majority of our house. Now, chances are you do not want just a sheathing floor for your entire house. I want my bathrooms and kitchens to have tile in them. I want my bedrooms to have carpet. and I want this hallway as well as the living space to be made of wood. So I want to change the floor types of each of these rooms. But I need to keep the joist system, and I need to keep that subfloor in place as well. So I'm going to head back over to level one. And over here, I'm going to create a new floor. So I'm going to go to architecture. I'm going to go to floor. And for each room that has the same type of floor, I'm going to essentially draw out that space. So for example, my kitchen and my three ba my bathrooms over here and I guess even this laundry space is going to all be tile. So for this area over here, and it might actually be easier just to, uh, to draw with the lines, I'm going to go and kind of trace out 
the inside of this structure. And the reason I'm tracing it out is because I want it to kind of end where the door ends. So I might adjust that just slightly. But I'm just kind of tracing it out and I'm making sure it connects. So I'm going to select that line, just tap it down once. So that space has been closed off. Then I'm going to go to the next space and I'm going to trace it out as well until I have all four spaces essentially traced off so that the material type starts the second we enter the room. So I'm going to go silent for a second here while I draw these out, but make sure you do the same. Okay, so I've drawn them all out. All the spaces are closed. I could, let's say, go here and I could choose a different floor type. So let's say I just chose uh, this uh, LW concrete, just for example. I select that one and let's say that's what I wanted to go with and I press the OK button. Uh, it's going to give me an error. And the reason it gives me that error is because my floor that I'm trying to put in now is overlapping the floor that I currently have in place. They're not coexisting, they're just trying to overlap each other. Uh, so it's generating an error. Uh, and if I kind of go into a 3D view, uh, let's see if it represents, you can kind of see that weird graphical thing where it's kind of flickering like that. Uh, we don't really want that to happen, so we're going to actually adjust the offset of that floor. So I'm going to go ahead and undo a few steps here. So I'm going to go back to my level one floor plan and I'm going to create a tile based material. So I want you to go to edit type and we're not going to actually use this or whatever you have set up. We're just going to create a brand new floor type. So go to duplicate and I'm going to call this tile. Press OK. Go to the structure, edit it. So for this material, it has like two things in there. Yours might, yours might not. It doesn't really matter. I'm just going to select one of them and I'm going to delete it. So I just have one structure left. Uh, this tile is going to be pretty thin, so I'm really thinking about half an inch here. So I'm just going to set 0.5 inch for this tile. For where it says layers above wrap, I'm going to select this dot dot dot, and I'm going to go ahead and search for a tile based material. So I'm going to type in tile and see what we get. It looks like we have some porcelain tile and some vinyl composition tile, things like that. Uh, I'm just going to go ahead and create my own tile. So over here, there's a little button with a little circle and a plus on it. I'm going to click on it and create a new material. And when I, once I've clicked that, it's going to create a default new material for me. I'm going to go to Identity, and I'm going to change the name from Default New Material to White Tile. And then I'm going to go over to the Appearance. And I'm not really going to change the color. What I'm going to do is I'm going to import an image, and that image is going to represent the tile. So I'm going to go to this white box here, and I'm going to click on it. And earlier in the project, I created or I saved these three floor types. And these are just pictures I got online. You can download these in the description of this video. So if you want to get these, just download them to your computer. But I'm going to go to the tile option, double click on that. And you can see it's added the tile in there. So if I look at the shape even, it's added it. And I could also double click on this image. So let me double click on it. And you could see what the tile looks like. So by default, it'll put in a one by one space or one by one foot area. And I could scroll down here and it has a re repeat on the tile. So I could change that to no repeat, but usually you want it to repeat. So everything here looks pretty much okay. I'm gonna press done. I'm gonna press apply, okay. Uh, that looks great, I'm gonna press okay. And OK. And before I actually finish this, I want to make sure that I've actually raised the floor the appropriate amount so it's not on top of this subfloor. So right now I have a height offset from the level. And I'm going to raise this a total of, and I'm going to try to, you know, try to recall. I, I think what I want to do is I want to raise this, let's try seven inches. Now, this is just going to, I'm probably going to adjust this a little, but I'm going to set it to 7 inches. And then I'm going to press Apply. So it's been offset from level 1, 
and I might tr clock that down in a second, but and I'm going to press OK. OK, and then I'm going to click away. And as you can tell right away, it definitely does look like we have a different floor type in those rooms, but it doesn't really look like tile. And the reason why is because we don't have the view set to realistic. So I'm going to click on this little box down here. I'm going to change it to realistic. And the second I do so, and I zoom in, you're going to notice that it's kind of applied that tile to it. So I'm going to go to my 3D view for a second. So view, 3D view, and kind of take a look at that. You know, I, I really want to see where that tile is with respect uh, to, the, to the joist system here, but it's kind of a little difficult because this wall is in my way. So I'm going to click on this wall, right click on it, and then I'm going to do hide in view by elements. And when I click on that, it hides the wall. So let's just take a look. And it might have actually just been a half inch. So let me select that. It's at 7 inches. If I had set that to 0 0.5 inch, would it have lied directly on it? So let me click away. Yeah, it definitely does look like it would have. So I should have just set it to the thickness of the, uh, of the floor. So I don't need to undo everything. What I'm going to do is select this wall, right click on it, hide in view, and I'm going to go to category. What that's going to do is it's going to hide all of the exterior and interior walls. And actually, oh, that's pretty neat. The second I updated that one, because I created them all within the same floor type, it actually just lowered them all to the correct height. So that's looking great. Now, don't need to worry. You don't need to be like, where did all my walls go? If you ever want to get your walls back, just click on this little light here. And then it kind of shows your hidden elements. And then just select everything like that. I let go of it. And then go to unhide category. Press toggle out and it should have brought it back in. I might have possibly missed one wall. So I'm going to select that wall, unhide the element, and toggle back out. OK, so switch that back to realistic. And now I got some tiles in there. OK, and we're going to go ahead and make this a little more cleaner in the next video. So I'll see you there. Peace.